Hey, hey, hey. It is day, day 18 of our 31 days of authenticity. It is one week until Christmas if you celebrate. And so today, if you remember yesterday, I, I listed out what I see as three choices when we're in a situation where we have wronged someone and underneath that, we generally feel like we've been wronged or we've been hurt in some way. And so there was options that you could take and one of them was to not give that person the letter, not have a difficult conversation with them because you just don't see it as being uh, productive or possibly you have enough experience with this person that you don't feel like you could come to any kind of mutual resolution where it makes you feel good. And so one of the options is to let it go. Now, letting it go is such a simple concept, but it's so not easy. I can remember so many times in my life people saying to me, like, just let it go, just get over it. But that's not, that's not an easy thing to do. When you're harboring these negative feelings about something that's happened, you can't just let it go. Just let it go. Like, don't let it bother you anymore. Well, sure, it's all fine and dandy to say that, but it is really difficult to just release yourself of the hold that that uh, pain can have over you. But what happens is that it grows and it builds into anger and resentment and hate and rage if we don't deal with it. So it's not that you can't let it go, it's just that it's not an easy thing to do, but it can be done. Finding forgiveness is one piece of letting go. Forgiveness is something that uh, a lot of times we have resistance to because we don't want to let that other person get away with what they did, right? We don't want them to get off the hook. We don't want it to, for them to think that what they did was okay or for us to look weak because we're not fighting back and we're not, um, you know, we're not still mad about this thing that happened. Um, we don't want to be, um, show that we're like accepting of this poor behavior and that's not what forgiveness is. Forgiveness is not about letting that person get away with what they've done or accepting it or saying that it's okay in any way. It's not about dismissing or invalidating your pain and your hurt because those are things you need to go through as well. If you've been hurt from someone, you need to allow yourself to explore the depths of that pain and what the meaning is behind it, what's layered beneath it, why did it happen, be really curious about it. But letting go is about you. Letting go and finding forgiveness is about releasing the hold that this anger and resentment and, and pain can have over you. It's like when we hold on to all of those things, it is like, it's like taking poison and expecting that other person to suffer. It's not how it works. They're not suffering. You are. When you're holding on, you're the one that's suffering. So finding forgiveness and letting go is about you. It's about releasing the hold. It's about un unchaining yourself from all of this that's holding you down. You can't be truly authentic in your life if you're holding on to pain and hate and hurt and rage and anger and resentment. You can't fully live a high vibration, a high energy, a fully authentic life if you're holding on to this stuff. So we need to work through finding forgiveness. One of the ways that I have um, gone through this is one with Aroma Freedom. Aroma Freedom is a technique that I uh, learned and then became certified in and I use it with my coaching clients um, and my non-coaching clients as well because it's such a profound and powerful technique that helps us to let go, helps to remove negative energy, helps to process memories and to um, put us in a much more clear, positive, high vibration state. And so that's one thing that I do, but there is also a practice that you can do on your own to find forgiveness. And so I will encourage you to do this right now as you're watching, you can just close your eyes and bring to mind somebody that has hurt you. 
somebody that you're holding resentment against or somebody you're angry with or somebody that did something that you don't agree with, bring that person to mind or the situation to mind. It could also be you. If you're, the, if you're holding yourself hostage for things that you've done and you need to forgive yourself, you could also bring yourself to mind. So bring that person to your mind. And then I want you to imagine them as a small child. Imagine them as a child and see them as you would see a child with compassion, with understanding, with acceptance. And then I want you to mentally say, I forgive you. As you see this person as a child in your mind, say the words, I forgive you. When we can see them as a child, we can see that when people are hurting others, it's because they're hurting inside themselves. A small child doesn't understand. They don't know why people are being mean, why people are making them feel bad about themselves, why that person didn't show up and abandon them or rejected them. They don't know why, but they're in pain. And when people are in pain, they lash out. When we can see this person in our today life, as a small child and we see them with compassion and understanding when we see their pain it can help us as we transition to seeing that same person as an adult or as an a today's version of themselves when we can look into them and see them with that same compassion that we see that child because they're carrying all that same pain and not everyone in the world is going to go through and take action and wake up to their life and go through the healing and feeling that they need to, to live truly authentically. Not everyone will. But holding on to the pain and resentment you're holding towards that person, it's keeping you from living your life truly authentically. So see that person as a child, see them with compassion, mentally say the words, I forgive you. It's okay. I understand. I'm sorry what's happened for what's happened to you. When we practice this on a, a regular basis, it sheds away those heavy layers that we're holding with regards to that person or that situation. You'll feel lighter even after doing it once, but oftentimes our pain is very deep-seated and we need to do this more frequently than just once. I hope you find that helpful and I really hope you try it. Forgiveness is one of the most profound things we can do for ourselves. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow.